Hi folks, welcome back to another episode of the Single Dad's Cookbook. Today we're going to be making some steak and chips. Now this video um, could fall into my guilty pleasures, which it certainly is, a cheeky steak midweek. Um, it's always a guilty pleasure in mind. It could be the shop bought ingredients. Um, because it's a couple of things that you do and then you can elevate it. So it's a it's a, a bit of a mixture of all. And the first thing I've got there is um, oven chips. Oven chips are a great thing to have in the freezer. Um, pull them out, ready in 15-20 minutes, depending on which make you get. And we prefer the French fry style, um, or the McDonald's style, if you will. Um, uh, rather than the big fat chips. If you've got time to make your own chips and you've got a deep fat fryer, then yeah, by all means, jump on, get that done. I've not got the time to do that, okay, especially not midweek. So what we've got here, and now this is, a, I'm actually filming this in real time for you, um, the preparation work, because I want to show you that it doesn't take long to prepare something and I want to show you how easy it is because a lot of people um, sometimes are scared of steak um, because it's either too tough or too raw or however you want it. The key to this is I'm just going to show you a simple way of cooking it. It's not, there's a video I did on reverse searing which takes a bit longer. This whole thing was made by the time the chips were done in the oven. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm just slicing up an onion. Okay, and then we're going to crush some garlic. If this is the first time to your um, to the the channel, welcome. Um, if you're returning, I hope you are all doing well as always. Um, and if you are liking my videos, please think about subscribing costs you nothing but it does mean the world to me and over the next coming weeks we're going to see um, some of the Christmas food things that we're going to prepare um, and that's going to be sort of the theme just so that it gets you ready for the big day so there's no surprise on it and what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a look at it and see if I can get it um, as cheap as possible especially with the way the world is at the minute so I've took the garlic out I'm just giving it a crush and that's going to be used a bit later for basting the steak. Now on to the steak itself, all I'm going to do with this, again ridiculously simple, I'm just going to salt and pepper each side and I am going to put a little bit of oil on it. I always put a little bit of oil on the steak <clears throat> not have the oil in the pan when it's heating up. One other thing I would say is I've got the pan on before I even started chopping anything up. It was the first job. So first job, get your pan on, get it nice and hot. Second job, get the chips in the oven. Um, give that a little bit of massage, nothing too strenuous. Again, a little bit of oil over the top. Give it a massage then that's it everything's prepped it's over to the cooking now so i've got the pan on nice and hot now this is a sirloin steak the reason i got the sirloin steak is because it was on uh, a deal at the local supermarket that's why we're having it as a midweek meal um, so i'm just rendering down the fat on the steak I'm just going to get that so it's nice and cooked through so that you're you're actually speeding up the cooking process so you're not waiting on that to render down in the pan. If you start off by rendering it, it just makes the whole cooking process a lot quicker. <coughs> and you can see the oil coming off that already. So we're getting there. So just move it around, get it all done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to pop it in and we're just going to leave it. And what you're wanting is you want to leave that for maybe three, four minutes, uh, depending on how you like your steak. Um, and we're going to get that to a nice Maillard reaction. So as you can see here, we're going to just turn it over now 
and there you go it's starting to get a bit of color on it and you can see that that fat is rendered beautifully now on this side what we're going to now do is we're going to add in some butter so it's been a, a couple of minutes we're going to add in a big knob of butter there you don't have to add in that much um, but you'll see why I've done that and we're going to let that the butter come down and then we're going to melt the butter and we're going to add in the garlic and then we're going to baste the steak it's as simple as that and we're going to keep that nice and succulent so we're just going to turn that get it mixed in all the butter flip it back over and we're going to let that melt down <coughs> now while that's melting down throw in your garlic and we want it to start to bubble and turn a little bit of dark brown and then what we're going to do is we're just going to baste that steak in the garlic butter and we're going to keep that going and you can see there I'm just starting the process a little bit early just to keep it going and you just want to keep that butter edge the pan baste your steak at this point if you've got fresh rosemary add in fresh rosemary um, I've not got it so I'm, I'm not doing it here and again if you've got peppercorn sauce whether it's a packet or it's homemade again if you've got the extra time do it it's it's whatever you want to eat food has got to be enjoyable um, I know that there's loads of people out there who see food as just purely as a fuel source great they can eat chicken and broccoli and rice every day I am not one of those people when it comes to food I've got to be able to enjoy it I've got to be able to taste it it's got to be flavorful um, and it's got to be something that once I've taken a bite of I've got to go back and have another bite it's that's the kind of cooking that I love it's the kind of food I love it is wholesome it's easy but it is tasty so you see there butter is starting to go brown so we're just basting the steak now one of the key things that people don't do is they don't rest the steak so I'm just going to take this out I've got some tin foil that I've got so one last dip in the butter there I'm going to got some tin foil I've got it at the side I'm just going to wrap it up and let it rest now I've let I'm going to let this rest whilst the onions are cooking so I've got the the pan still on all the meat juices are in there the butter is in there that's why I put a bit extra butter in it you've got the garlic and now I'm going to put the onions in and what I'm going to do is I'm going to soften those in that butter I'm going to let that cook through um, and it just gives it an extra dimension and you can cook these as long if you want or as short as you want again it's up to you I cook them down to what I would describe is probably the type you get on a hot dog if you go to like the fair you can see it there or a burger if you go to a burger van at the side of a fair or something like that so they've softened they've got a bit of colour in them they've absorbed the, the butter and the garlic flavouring and they're delicious okay so they're going to go on top of the steak and then it's all about just plating up so we've got the plate there we've got the chips the oven chips get them on the plate big hunking plate of chips we've got the steak we're going to plate up the steak and then we're going to put the onions on top of it and that my friends here we go so you can see there it's been wrapped I'm just going to I've cut in half just to check it is medium rare We've got that there, then we're going to put the onions on top of it. Guys, I, I hope you are all looking after yourselves out there. The world is a weird and wonderful place at the minute. Um, and I, so I hope you are all staying safe and I hope you're looking after yourselves and others. Um, from my family, as always, to yours. I hope you are staying safe out there. Thanks very much for watching. This, like I said, is a, a video that could tick a few of the series boxes that I'm, I'm doing at the minute so um, and it is tasty it's a great midweek meal and I'll show you how easy it is thanks very much for watching till the next time single dad
signing off.